Hey there, uh, I'm Marcus. Um, so for the week two videos, um, I started, and the first thing that popped up, uh, I'm going to start with the things that I kind of knew, but not a whole lot, but they sounded familiar. Um, the first one that came up was Newton's second law. Um, and I knew that Newton's second law had changes in like velocity, changes in time, uh, kind of like the basics. Um, but the, what the video showed me is that there's a lot more to that. Um, like not only did you have to do that, but it also calculated like the total pushes and pulls. Um, and you also have to divide by mass. Um, so that's something that I never knew before. I like I just also knew a general overview of what Newton's second law was, um, and also like the the way that the force units are actually called newtons and stuff. So I finally made that connection. Um, and talking about force, that was one thing that I learned the, more about that I didn't know before. Um, I, I just found out, so like when you draw the length of the arrow, the length of the arrow actually determines how big or f small the force is. Um, I thought if you just drew the arrow the same size, you'd have to determine the size of the force a different way. Um, so that's another good point that I was going to remember. Uh, and going back to something that I already knew, uh, this is an easy one, but um, one of the videos talked about planning. I believe it's for like your reports, not only on your labs, maybe just report papers in general. Um, I feel like the effort that you put into planning directly reflects the grade that um, you're going to receive. Um, so again, that was an easy point. Uh, let's see, one of the topics that was more challenging for me was the spring force video I want I, I want to say it was the last video um, where they talked about Hooke's law um, kind of like the li and minus zero all the absolute value uh, I just didn't get a grasp on it right away uh, I tried going on YouTube YouTube's actually really helpful for me um, that's probably one of my most helpful platforms for learning new material um, just because I like the way people break it down and explain it slowly one topic at a time um but uh due to like just getting used to this week and everything and wasn't able to go into as much youtube uh, as i would like to normally um, getting ready for this next coming week um, but during this next week now i have more of a feel for things and everything i'll definitely be able to you know break out more time to go into youtube because that's definitely the most helpful um an another thing that I learned that was new uh, were actually the three tips um, that happened at, in the beginning uh, in, in Newton's Law. Uh, the two that I didn't know was that you never count forces from the uh, system that the system ex exerts on its surroundings. Um, the other one that I didn't really know is that objects don't exert forces on themselves. Because uh, if I think about it, I would think of like pushing on yourself as exerting a force on yourself. Um, but apparently, according to the video, that's not the case. Um, another good point that I learned was that if the interactions that happen add up to zero, that means that the objects must be moving at a constant velocity. Because um, at first, when, when I think of everything adding to zero, I think of like resting position or stopping in some manner. Uh, so that was another point that I learned that was interesting. Um, there were, uh, like with all the formulas and stuff that are going on, I feel like that kind of relates to my major, um, me being an IE major. Um, I definitely have to follow like roadmaps, uh, which helps like with the comes from planning, you know, doing the different formulas, um, things like that. So that's kind of, I feel like that ties into my major a little bit. Um, but yeah, so overall there were, there were a few things that I remembered or, you know, were kind of a review. Um, but the videos definitely went into more depth, and so now I feel like I have a better understanding of most of the topics, and some of them are still new, so I'll do my best this week to um, expand outside of the class to try to get the better understanding of these topics and get ready for week two.